Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to talk about this interesting topic that is called as Docker MCP Catalog and Toolkit. And uh, this has been recently introduced by Docker. And with the help of this toolkit, now you will be able to run MCP server in a very easy way, irrespective of the client that you're specifically using like cloudy desktop, whether it is VS Code, Cursor ID or anything as such. So in this particular video, I will be showing you each and everything like how you can use Docker MCP catalog and toolkit for the same purpose. Now already for all those people who are my audience, I think I've already uploaded an amazing crash course on agentic AI uh, uh, and MCP. So which you can actually go in and watch. It is a like 54 minutes where video where I've specifically spoken about MCP that is model context protocol. How does model context protocol work? How you can create it from scratch and all. But here we are just going to focus more on docker mcp catalog and toolkit i will be showing you that how with the help of docker mcp catalog you will be able to run you know the any kind of mcp server and even integrate with the client so first of all what you really need to do is that first of all you need to go ahead and download the docker desktop right you can download it for windows you can download it for mac i usually have windows i work with windows so i I usually download this, all right? So out of these three versions, you can specifically go ahead and based on your configuration, you can go ahead and install it. Uh, I already have my Docker desktop. So here you'll be able to see that I have this Docker desktop over here, okay? And um, this is what, you know, I can actually go ahead and create images, containers, and you know, in, even I can Dockerize my entire data science project. And I've already shown all those kind of videos in my YouTube channel, right? But here we are going to focus more on this MCP toolkit, which is right now in the beta version. And here you will be able to integrate various kind of uh, MCP servers within this specific, uh, you know, the Docker desktop itself, and even integrate with the client. So uh, what you need to do is that first of all, go ahead and download it, do the installation irrespective of whether you have a Mac or a Windows machine. And then what you need to do is that just go ahead and open it over here in the MCP toolkit. Here you'll be seeing three or well, four different options one is my server the other one is catalog third one is client and then you have oauth right so my servers uh, actually provides the list of all the mcp server that is currently running in your system then catalogs is just like uh, like how many different kind of mcp servers are there which you can actually go ahead and use based on your requirement the third one is specifically with respect to clients. Now, client client is something like how you really want to uh, to which client you really want to integrate all these MCC servers, right? So there are a lot of options from cloudy code to cloudy desktop to Codex, Cursor, Gemini CLI, Goose, LM Studio, Open Code, you know, VS Code, Cursor, you know, Cloudy Code. So there are specific huge number of client list and most of the common clients that we are actually using for the coding purpose or for any kind of research purpose that is already available over here right so in this particular video what i will be doing is that i will show you how you can go ahead and install any mcp server and run it and then how you can go ahead and integrate it with any kind of client over here here we are going to specifically focus on cloudy desktop you know um, along with that you can go ahead and i can also show you cursor i can also show you vs code right so these are all the possible options uh, that we can go ahead with right now what we are going to do first of all we are going to go ahead and see with respect to catalog you know right now what i will do i'll just remove all these things okay i have already integrated some of the uh, mcp servers uh, but i will show you from scratch so in the catalog what i can do is that i can go ahead and use this youtube transcript if you want so let's go ahead and just select this you know now youtube transcript what it does is that it retrieves transcript from a given youtube video url okay and then what you do is that uh, here in order to understand what all tools is basically provided by this mcp server these are the three specific tools that is get time tr uh, transcript get transcript get video info, you can specifically go ahead and use it. So this is, will be my first MCP server that I will be integrating. So I will go ahead and click on add, right? So once I do this, I will again go back to my MCP toolkit and here you can see one of the server is added. Along with this, what I can also do is that I can go ahead and also add Playwright. Now you should know what Playwright actually does, Playwright MCP server. Um, here you can see that all the options are there with respect to browser click, browser close, browser console message, drag message, all these tools are basically provided 
provided over there right so i will also go ahead and just add this mcp server over here then let's go ahead and see some more mcp server one of the most common mcp server which we can actually use is my duckduckgo so the duckduckgo is just like you are going to add this specific uh, you know server itself and you know why this server is and if you go ahead and just see the tools there are two different tools that is available over here one is specifically for fetching the content and one is for searching any kind of information you know it can be the recent ai news and all and here you can see that there is a github link also whoever is specifically built they basically publish in the docker hub right so all these options are basically there now along with this let's go ahead and add one more uh, you can also go ahead and add brave search but uh, you know it will definitely go ahead and ask for something out there you know it will ask for the api keys and all so there is also an aws documentation let's see whether it requires any kind of keys or not uh, i'll just go ahead and add mcp server and if i go ahead and over here there are multiple tools so here you can go ahead and ask read documentation is there fetch documentation search documentation and recommend right so get content recommendation for an aws you can also go ahead and uh, fetch and convert ads uh, aws documentation to markdown format and all right so just give any kind of documentation in aws and obviously it will be able to uh, provide you some kind of information so these are all the servers that i'm actually going to show you today in this particular video i'm, I'm going to probably show you along with the client now uh, to integrate with any kind of clients here you have multiple options right so here if you just go ahead and click on clients uh, first of the option is with respect to cloudy code uh, cloud code sorry and uh, there is also cloud desktop so i have already connected this all you have to do in order to connect it just click on connect okay and automatically it will be getting connected so i'll just go ahead and disconnect it so uh, let's go ahead and just disconnect this so first of all i want to use for cloudy desktop cloud desktop and then i have actually connected it i have also connected to cursor and you can also go ahead and connect with vs code so for the vs code there is a separate instruction that is basically used in order to add that mcp server right so right now i'm just going to go ahead and show you with uh, uh, cloud desktop and uh, we can also go ahead and consider cursor yeah let's go ahead and consider cursor so i have connected both of them and this is my cloud desktop right uh, you can clearly see over here what i will do first of all i will just go ahead and exit this okay and see i need to probably as soon as you go ahead and just connect it right you need to restart it so i will just go ahead and write cloud okay cloud over here now this has actually started now let's see you know as soon as i as soon as I, I have selected this particular option saying that okay in the cloud cloud desktop i have actually connected it now what is the next step that we are going to do we'll just go in and see whether that extension is added over here or not right so if i go down here you can see mcp docker is there right and if i go ahead and inside this right so I have added all the different uh, MCP servers like Playwright. So Playwright had all this information like click, close, browser, everything is there. And here you can see for YouTube, right? Get time transcript, get transcript, get video info. And uh, with respect to documentation, here you have the AWS documentation, recommend search, search documentation, everything is over here, right? Navigate to a URL. So how many MCP servers we have actually connected that all functionalities and tools is actually available here with respect to the documentation right now what i'm actually going to do i'll just go ahead and search for my recent video my recent video was uh, about llm poisoning so i'll go ahead and search for krishna let's see so this is the video now what i will do i will quickly go to my cloud desktop i'll say hey please provide the transcript for the video this one okay so i'll just go ahead and press enter now what it should do is that automatically uh, you know it should probably go ahead and just call our um, youtube transcript available tools and here you can see that it is asking me for the permission and here you can see that it has it wants to get transcript from mcp server so i'll just go ahead and say allow once okay and now it is going to retrieve all the information and it is going to display the information with respect to the transcript okay this is amazing right so let's go back over here so you can see retrieving and analyzing you know what is lm poisoning and all the transcript is basically over here right and let's say i want to go ahead and also ask hey provide me the uh see, let's see the functionality what was there so i have this mcp server 
and here you also have something like get time transcript provide the time transcript for the video here right so whichever mcp is based server is basically connected you can go ahead and use those specific tools and go ahead and directly do anything that you specifically want right so i'll just go ahead and click on allowance okay i have i've disabled all the other uh, you know other others uh, mcp servers i'm just focusing on the mcp server that i've added through uh, docker mcp catalog right so here is your entire transcript see this amazing right and this is all the information now you can also go ahead and use this and summarize it based on your needs right let's search for some aws documentation okay aws documentation mcp server let's go ahead and do that okay so i i'll just go to aws i am users i am user guide let's say i want to go ahead and just check this documentation and i will just go ahead and ask for the question uh, so these are the information that I can see. I'll just stop this. Uh, and uh, let's see with respect to the AWS, what all tools are available. So here you can see search documentation. Yeah, search documentation on how to create IAM user. Okay. Now let's see whether it will be able to search and call or not. We're just trying to check. If it is not able to call, you know, think about I am this one. See, it is searching the documentation and here create I am user. It is probably coming from the AWS documentation. Isn't it amazing? You see how quickly you are able to just integrate it uh, with any kind of client, uh, run the MCP server with the help of Docker MCP catalog, right? Uh, and toolkit, definitely. So see, all the amazing results are there. And here, uh, these all are links, right? So if I just go ahead and click this, you can see open link, right? And it gets opened over here amazing feature definitely we we require this kind of features right amazon aws is definitely a lot many things are there over there but because of this all things that has become very very much easy now um, as you all know that i have already if you go to the docker desktop i have already connected to the cursor also so let's go ahead and see for the cursor so i will just go ahead and open my cursor uh, uh, cursor id okay and let's see whether we'll be able to uh, do the chat similar to end of chat or not okay so let's open my cloudy and i'll ask the same question okay please to provide the transcript so here is my cursor i was just working on one of the project and uh, i will just go ahead and search for the same thing please provide the transcript because cursor already has one inline chat and i will just go ahead and select agent and let's see please provide the transcript for the video it should definitely uh, be able to access the mcp server uh, specifically for the video and all so planning next moves let's see whether it will be able to call our mcp server yeah see you can see that all the information is basically coming over here right let's let's try for some other video i think uh, i've already tried with this video okay uh krishna any other video okay i'm getting started okay now i will just go ahead okay provide the transcript for the video yeah perfect let's see so here you can see sources each and every information is basically coming up right yeah great now see youtube that is basically using that planning next moves all the information is over here it is running this i'll just go ahead and click on run it is executing the same tool get video info the first one i think i had already searched it beforehand so because of that it just gave me the results uh, the previous results only there so here you can see ask every time not required run so run so here you can see it is also getting the time transcript so everything works absolutely fine now my main thing is that i have actually shown you how easy it is basically to integrate with any kind of uh, mcp server with their docker desktop right now dockers are really amazing because <laughs> they are doing a huge amount of work in this specific field but definitely to learn mcp anything related to mcp it becomes very easy understand the concepts of mcp how it works and then it's all about how you can quickly create it how you can easily integrate it 
and even go ahead and run it anywhere uh, based on the client. Now, Docker Desktop has all the possible options, right? It has all the possible options. So here you can see, if I just go ahead and click over here, you know, uh, yeah. So it has options for open code, LM Studio, Goose, Gemini CLI. I've also even tried it for Codex also. Now your task will be that, hey, go ahead and try out with LM Studio. I don't use LM Studio much. But yeah, uh, if I talk about VS Code, what you can do is that whatever information that you're getting over here, go to um, your VS Code folder where it is installed, create a MCP JSON file, okay, a MCP JSON file and just paste it over here. And then after this, you should be able to use even in your uh, VS Code itself in the inline chat, right? So uh, I hope you like this particular video. This was something about Docker MCP catalog and toolkit. Uh, this was it from my side. I hope you like this particular video. I'll see you all in the next video. All the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.